I'm going to blame the British. Okay, I feel sort of guilty because I feel like maybe some people might have been catfished sort of by the title just because maybe you're expecting like a bandit story. It's a really short story. <laughs> it's not a bandit story or anything of the sort. Basically what happened is that when I was younger, I didn't really take care of my teeth or my nutrition, I guess. And um, I ate too many. Okay, it starts from the British. I'm going to blame the British. Yes, I blame the British. I, I I have no apologies, but I blame the British. So the British, I believe, when they came to Kenya, of course, they definitely came with their snacks. So when I was small, Kenyans had a habit of eating toffees. And you know, if you're a Kenyan, that toffees have actually sort of disappeared from the market. But back then, there were so many toffees, like so many, like us guys would live on toffees, like for break, if you're given like 10 shillings for break, yes, I was in that era. If you're given 10 shillings for break, you, instead of buying crisps or buying something in the tax shop, you'd literally buy toffees worth 10 shillings, which was a big deal like of toffees, like 30 toffees or something of the sort. So I grew up in that era of eating toffees. And as I said, I do blame the British. You know, if you know what toffees are, you know that they get stuck in your teeth. Now, at that time, as guys, we just recently started flossing our teeth. I believe a lot of Kenyans didn't have floss. Or even if it was there, it wasn't everywhere. It wasn't in all parts of Kenya. And also, people didn't really know how to use it. Like, we just knew about brushing teeth. So I did lose my teeth to toffees when I was younger. In fact, by the time I was about eight years old, I think I removed you know the way you remove milk teeth i think i used to remove my milk teeth in pieces they were already in pieces by the time i was like seven six years old and i guess also that habit continued i still eat plenty of chocolates plenty of course i don't eat toffees anymore because thank god they're no longer in the market but i do eat a lot of chocolate and all that and yeah, that habit continued like through my teenage years. I never used to floss my teeth. I just brush them and I eat chocolate. And so, and even my brushing habits were not good. Like I'd brush my teeth only in the morning. And I guess I had weak teeth also. So that's a contributing factor. I had weak teeth. So I'd only brush my teeth in the morning. And then in the evening, I could eat as many chocolates as I want and go to sleep like that and then wake up and brush my teeth. So that was bad habits. But basically, that's my story of how I lost my teeth. So if you are a teenager or maybe like 13, 12, please take care of your teeth. You don't want to look like me in my previous videos. This is that's horrid. And also, you don't want to what? Yeah, take care of your teeth. So that's basically my story. I know guys were expecting like bandits. Oh, nilipigwangeta, nika gongwa meno, nika anguka uko, poop! Yeah, that, that, that's not my story. <laughs> poor brushing habits and poor eating habits, yes, do affect your teeth. So unless you want to spend a lot of money replacing them, I suggest that you just take care of your teeth, yeah. That is my story and I hope you enjoyed that story. And if you actually did enjoy it, I say um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're into fashion, look at this fashionable dress. It's by the it's a dress and I've shown you all of it, but I'm really not in the mood of standing up and showing you how my lower half looks. But it's a dress, so if you're into fashion, jewelry, makeup, this makeup look, I just did it on this channel, just ignore the 
red eyes because I, as I said in a previous video, I'm actually on medication for my eyes. Something happened, nothing to do with contacts. I know in my previous videos, I used to wear contacts, but shockingly, I never ever got a problem the time I used to wear them. But yeah, if you're into makeup, fashion, beauty, image positivity, just general keeping it real. I have a series called the Keeping It Real series, basically on this YouTube channel. It's just a section of YouTube where I decided to just keep it real with you guys on how I normally save money, how I normally manage to do my hauls, you know, normal things that normal people do. I just don't want to have a facade, like, fake life here on YouTube. No, I want you people to know, like, how I do stuff, how I do my things, just basically keeping it real. So how can you find my Keeping It Real series? My channel page on, on YouTube and then go to Playlists. Now, when you reach the playlist section, you'll see so many playlists. There's a playlist called Keeping It Real. That's where you are going to find my Keeping It Real videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any video. Any, none, not even one. Don't even miss one because I normally post three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we keep it real on this channel and we also like makeup, fashion, and beauty and image positivity, basically. So we are gonna see you in my next video. Ciao.